So you want to start a private practice, do you? All right, I want you to think about this. Don't go into private practice living in your own little fairy world, thinking that everything's going to be okay if you put in five hours a day. Today's July the 4th, my friends. It's also my birthday. This is one of my clinics. The parking lot's empty, except my little red truck. That's kind of my point here. Are you willing to work when everybody else is sleeping, or doing something else? Are you willing to take care of a Medicaid audit, like I'm doing today, on what should be your day off? Are you willing to drive an old red truck with a quarter million miles on it? When my wife and I first started our private practice, we put in many a 12, 14, 16 hour day, back to back. Now I'm not saying that to discourage you or to rub it in your face, I'm saying that to focus you. You need to be willing to live a few years working in such a way that nobody else is willing to work that hard. In order to reap the benefits of those few hard years, to live in such a way for the rest of your life that very few people have the opportunity to do. One thing I did while I was at the clinic was put up this new sign. Okay, that's my rant for today on my birthday, July the 4th, which, a little side note, July the 4th is when the Declaration of Independence was proclaimed to the people. It was actually signed, initiated on July the 2nd. Not all the ratifiers signed it until January of that next year. It took them that long to get everybody on the same page, literally. All right, until next time, Godspeed to you and your practice.